Good morning. So today I have the answer to three separate requests. Uh, first off was to add the, uh, the starter AC uh, into the roster. Uh, as you see here, this is the 3089 Four Tours. Comes complete with rust. Uh, it was kind of added in after, well, it seems like a, quite a few people have a whole thing for starter ACs lately. Um, I know Royal's been doing his run. I know... Um, I can't remember his name right now that's doing a run, and I was finishing off my run of Silent Line. So there have been a few of those, and uh, another one was to get Crossback, uh, well, back, with uh, better AI and, well, to remake him properly. So I did, with the exception of his back parts, which are just switched around, just because they are in the same roster, and that requires no duplicate parts, so they just had to be on different sides than usual. Uh, he was basically built to have a crap ton of energy, uh, near infinite cooling, and, well, pretty much all of his bottom half of his AI tree is maxed out. Um, it, he's actually pretty decent now. Uh, he still sucks, but he's decent. Like, honestly, it's as good as this AC can actually function as far as I can see. Uh, he's even semi-decent with his mines. So now the question is, is it still going to be enough for him to even beat the most basic model there is? Well, I guess we'll see. As far as I see it, uh, this is just the more practical of the uh, third gen starter ACs. Uh, the, other one, uh, the other core just doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Um, having OB makes sense for it since it's already, you know, pretty ridiculously low speed. It sometimes needs to be able to get around. Uh, really no reason for it to have hangers because it's slow enough as it is. Um, not to mention it's sacrificing some shell defense and the weight that it gains is, well I guess gains and loses, depending on how you want to see it. Uh, the weight change doesn't really help it out much. I just feel like the later third gen kind of sucked. But anyhow, uh, they're both set to be pretty defensive. Right now, it looks like the starters actually got it. Uh, they've both got their uh, defensive upgrade inside parts. Well, actually, no. The starter does not have uh, defensive upgrades or any inside parts whatsoever. So it is just the stock friggin' thing. Um, it's still winning really right now. That's embarrassing. I mean, you can see he's, he's cross back here. He's trying. He's really doing his best. For what he's got, it's about all he can do. Also, his uh, his anti missiles seem to be missing almost every single shot. That's a little bit sad. So he's out of his primaries right now. Uh, he's only got his bakio and his uh, his mines left now. As to why he's not using his uh, EO, I'm not really sure. Because he just decided he doesn't like it this particular match. He's usually he's all about using that thing. And pretty much did like seven rounds of tests before this and he was using it every single one of them. Alright, so that was pretty decisive. Let's give that a round two. See if his AI can actually manage to, shall we say, turn on. Then that might be something. Also, yeah, I keep missing armory colorings on all these ACs. He's got his uh, orange optional sides. Completely missed that first time around. And as per usual, I was just kind of making them vaguely resemble what they were supposed to be. Figured I would refine it later down the line, and uh, kind of get to that point. Oh crap, he just got slashed. Yeah, he's got both optionals for his shield, since he does like to use that thing pretty often. And uh, with how, uh, how his energy is set up, he's actually able to use his EO and his shield while flying. So they're actually pretty darn low drain, and he's got a pretty big pool to work with, as well as some pretty decent regen. Alright, he's catching up those rockets. Gonna run out soon, and there he goes. Why he's getting stuck in that hole there, but whatever. There 
we go. That's his usual assault pattern. So, honestly, it's still not quite enough. Yeah. Oh. We're gonna assume... You know, maybe it's the map. So we'll uh, give him another round after this. In a different map. See if that changes things. See if he can pull it back. Yeah, there we go. He's using his mines, using his EO. Doing some pretty good dodges. Alright. Get desperate. You can pull it off. Running into your own mines doesn't really help. Uh, I'm really rooting for this guy to win at something. I think the ultimate underdog. Um. All right. Well, he's you know kind of specializes in burst damage. Uh, let's see what he does in the updated uh, military district. Maybe he can pull it back here. is doing pretty well right off the bat here. Pretty much staying in tanking as he does best. Oof, okay. The uh, crossback's getting rocked. I don't actually know what hit him there to make him overheat so much, because the rifle doesn't overheat him that badly. I don't think. Yeah, it only... it seems like it would take like 15 shots or so to overheat him. Hmm. Odd. Must have stepped on his own mines. Oh crap, he did hit himself with his own mines. Wow. Okay, I... actually didn't know he could do that. Might have to count this one a fluke, because I think that's a bug. He's like launching them into the building and getting utterly destroyed by them. Normal? Actually, no, they do normally stick to buildings, but I thought they just exploded on those ones. At least they did in earlier ones. Maybe they're no longer destructive in uh, FF? I don't know. Let's give it another map. Let's see if that was a fluke or not. Um... Let's say... this one. The Glacier Arena is pretty interesting. running onto your own mines. I'm thinking some terrain awareness might help him with the mines, but I really don't think it's even worth it, because he kind of needs the rest of his stats to actually uh, be that high to function. It's just kind of got to be acceptable. And it's not closer this time. So if he wins this, we'll, uh, we'll say he'd have to win two more to actually win it. If not, then it'll go to the starter. Hmm. Alright. That was your kind of big, big catch up there, buddy. I didn't go... Well, I guess he didn't go that bad, actually.
right, he can win this. Uh, can. I don't know if that means will. I think he was trying to set up a little bit of drama there. All right, let's say, uh, let's say that was close enough to call it a tie. Yeah, if he loses another one, then, yeah, I think it's pretty safe to call it. Nice starter. Seems like your rusty self is still doing pretty well. Man, that thing must be having severe mechanical issues by this point. He's been in friggin' in use for like a hundred years. Everyone just keeps throwing it in the trash and it keeps sitting out in the dumpster. <laughs> okay, Crossback might do it. He just has to use his EO, that's all he has to do. That's literally it. Well, and not run onto his own mind, that's kind of a thing too. Crossback, you can actually win a fight. You're all better and able to evade stuff now, sort of. Well, unless it's from yourself. And you some mines, you got started with the mines. Oh, thanks for that view. those EOs out. Actually, he's probably recharging. He might be out. He's going to be using an all fight. Yeah, he's run. He's uh, just recharging it, that's all. <laughs> go figure. After all this, it just comes down to ammo count. So there we go. Pretty safe to call it there. Prospect still sucks.